Woke up in the morning and my mama still stressing Got me second guessing like should I grab my weapon I know I'm a dog one day I'm hoping I see heaven Cause where I'm from ain't nothing fun all we know is stepping Praying to the reverend saying help me out I ain't wanna ask for help but help me now Why everyone I love always let me down Sometimes I need a hug but I thug it out Young people turn to snakes gotta watch who around They gon' talk behind your back hope you hear that sound when they see you coming up, they gon' knock you down When you jump up in the water, they don't care if you drown This video is for educational purposes only I do not encourage or promote anything shown in this video Please do not try at home, thanks I'm not no junkie, I'm not talking about I do drugs You know what I'm saying guys, this is for educational purposes only Do not try at home But, um, I just basically want to talk to y'all today about this And, you know, I brought some Delta 8 gummies I hope these are five from my guys right here at Flora CBD. You feel what I'm saying? Shout outs to the homies. Damn, we just got stuck in hella fucking traffic. Look at this dumb ass. All these people don't know how to drive up there. Look at that. I'm frustrated, bro. I'm about to take these Delta 8 gummies. It says it helps for like anxiety and stress relief. You know what I'm saying? It helps you stay focused. So shout out to Flora CBD. I'm about to try this real quick. Cause man, bro, this is really bugging. Like, come on, people. How is people not late for work right now, or is people getting off of work? I don't get it. Like, I really don't. How do you open this shit? Oh no way. Really, nigga? I guess you eat this too. Oh, do not eat. Eat. Hmm. That blueberry one. I think that was. That's fire. I don't even like blueberry like that. I mean, really nothing better to do at this point near traffic. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still frustrated, so I want these to not make me frustrated. Like, I'm really trying to make them work. What you looking at, fat bitch? She looking at me like I'm crazy or something. Hey, gosh. Damn. This man goes smack, bro. It's like it's sweet at first, and then it's sour. Like sour past kids are like, first it's sour, then it's sweet. Nah, this is first it's sour, then it's sweet, then it's sour again. You feel what I'm saying? These are fire, bro. All three flavors are so fire. Um, now, before I tell y'all really why I started, I wanna tell y'all do not start it. You know what I'm saying? I wanna tell y'all this is for educational purposes only. If you don't tote yet, there's no reason to start. Just because I'm, I'm doing it, that don't mean you should do it. You feel what I'm saying? Well, so one day, homie was in the shed. A lot of y'all probably heard this story, but he's loading a bowl in the shed. You feel what I'm saying? And he's smoking. Mm, mm, mm. And he's doing that. He's doing this. I'm like, damn. I'm like, sheesh. So I'm like, damn, that's how you do it. Or it just, he looked cool. Like, I didn't want to look like I, was a, like I wasn't smoking it right so I did it too. I hit the bow. And I go. <laughs> and I cough just like that. <coughs> so I hit the bow. And it goes around. Then they, they rolled in a blunt. Which is this. I guess they had some hydro back then. And, and dro back then was so gas. I don't know why. It was so good, bro. Ah! So he had some drill, and we were rolling that up. Well, he was rolling it up, and uh, we we had that pass around, and I did the same thing. <laughs> Boom. I started feeling weird. This is when it started kicking in, bro. The shed started spinning. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. And then it's, it's like the Wizard of Oz. And it was spinning. <laughs> And like we were fucking in a tornado and then it just the lights turn off pitch black and we just hear police open up i'm like oh i remember i hit under a desk all high as um oh when they opened the door it's all their homies like everybody was scared we thought it was the police for real and uh i just remember it felt like i was in a dream you know those dreams where you just like trying to look, but it won't let you look too closely. So you just gotta like, it's blurry. It's like an ugly feeling like that. So 
I started selling my things to get this, to get high. I started going to the stores um, and asking for money. Like, who does that? Like, I was really down bad, and me and my homie, we would go to the store and we will ask for money just to get high. And homie, I remember homie would tell me, like, we did it, like, about four or five times before my homie told me he's like i don't feel comfortable doing this like bro because we saw our homies from school coming up to the store and that just hurts our pride because like we're asking for money and shit we didn't ask them for money but like we're just like looking at each other like oh shit like this is not what we're supposed to be doing you know what i'm saying guys like all those kids are living regular lives we're addicted so after like posting up at the stores you know all that stuff i stopped um doing that I asked my grandma for money. I sold my Xbox, bro, that I got for Christmas. You know, like, I was really becoming a bad person if I didn't sprung up. I would have just kept going down and down, guys, real talk. So, I continued to smoke, and thank God I did because I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have started YouTube, bro. It's crazy because when I started YouTube, guys, I was on the run. I was on the run as, uh, as a juvenile, and um, I did some videos, and I got caught up, and I did 69 months in jail. As I'm in jail, in juvenile, my videos are blowing up, bro. Like, this is the life of a real, the real young Mike, you know? Like, nothing is, is edited. Everything is real. All y'all think, oh, this kid is, is fake and this and that. But I've been through things that y'all never even been through. I've seen things that y'all would never even probably see or haven't seen yet. And that's facts. Smoking was getting away from my problems. Like, I, I lived in a house full of roaches, low poverty, where all we did was argue in the house because there was nothing to be happy about. And living with people like that, like, the hope was gone. Everything that, that that was a dream was never even there because nobody believed in it. I wanted to be a rapper. Everybody laughed at me and nobody ever thought that that was going to be possible. But for some reason, I just thought I could be, you know, like it's fucking possible if you try, bro. Like, and I've been rapping for 10 years now, almost 10 years. Next year will be 10 years since I started, since my first freestyle. You know what I'm saying? And it takes time, man, to blow up. It takes time to get in a position you want to be in. It takes time to learn your, your sound and perfect your craft. Like I said, I lived in that place. And if, if any other families were like that around us, they probably are living like that as well. There's no hope. You could barely pay the rent. You think you'd be a rapper? You don't even have food in the fridge, fool. You think you'd be a rapper? <laughs> They don't laugh at me, boy. I swear to God. So that being said, me getting away from all my problems was through getting high. And if I didn't have it, I was stuck in the matrix. I was stuck in something I didn't want to think of or be in. You don't want to go home with roaches. You don't want to go home to poverty. All you argue about is money. All you argue about is things we don't got. All you fucking think about is things we don't got. I never had a phone until I was 17 years old. That's facts. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Now all these kids got phones like that. 10, 12. I didn't have a phone till I was 17 years old. I didn't start Instagram till I was 17 years old. Who can say that, boy? Who can say that? But anyway, there's so much things to talk about, man. But let me just say that I got high to get away from those problems. I don't want to think about that. Getting high distracted me from it. And that's why I wanted to do it so much. Y'all don't understand what I was going through and y'all don't understand what I do go through. And that's why I was doing it. Even till today. I'm not where I want to be. I am blessed. I thank God every day. But now I get paid to do what I do. So it's different. It's like, why not? And I, I'm chilling. All I got to do is just respect my body and make sure I'm healthy, you know what I'm saying? As far as everything else, I think that this is the best thing to do. All right, you guys, so I'm very chilling right now. I'm relaxed, but I have these Delta 8 gummies left, and oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's what she said. But I think I'm gonna take this one out because what the shit is this? This one's like a giant one. 
Damn, that sounded bad. Like I bet you, cause that's what that's what the girls be telling me. You know what I'm saying? Last three. Let's get it. Shout out to Florida CBD coming through, making me relax. You know, I was stressing, and I thought it was a perfect time to pull these out while I was stressing. And now I feel good. I feel focused. Like I'm ready to edit this video, put it up for y'all. Um, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, guys. We are back. And yeah, that's the reason why I get high, guys. I hope that y'all enjoy. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all next time, guys. Um. Hey, do this for my family. Hope you understand me. It come with the damage. Ain't nothing like candy. Choose like I'm in it. Keep one in the fanny. I don't find no zannies. Leave that for the grannies. Got bigger dreams to be on the Grammys. Serving the fiends and send me the edit. Give me the money. I don't need a paddock. I'd rather invest in this. So move heavy.